Um, you, okay, fucking okay. please, I, I put me in, coach. The, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be your uh, a financial advisor of this channel. Uh, what we're gonna do is not get too political, okay? We can talk about it, but if you get too political, we we. Gotta, it's kind of hard not to uh, when fucking China's fucking trying to take over the goddamn. You can't, industry. you can't fucking, you can't help getting a little bit political. I mean, look, look at the whole Blizzard situation. I mean, you can't fuck, fucking South help that shit. Do it perfectly. Everything is ran by China. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, fucking. I mean, can't help. They're trying, they're trying to censor fucking South is, Park bro. and shit too now. Like, what the fuck? All right, if, if, China, if, China, if China wants to go ahead and censor all their fucking players all right, and, so, and keep all their shit under me, wraps, bro, go so, ahead. But when it starts affecting uh, American me, soil and what fucking is going on over here and our experiences and shit, I mean, it's bad enough. I hate to beat a dead horse, but what we were just talking about earlier, how it's already not an enjoyable experience to play these fucking games because they're half-cocked. Anyways, I don't need fucking China coming over here and fucking, you know, uh... Ha these developers have to make two different versions of these games. You know, they, the ratio. They're doing that, though, but the thing is, is that, uh. They have to censor it more and more because it's based off of the country, you know what I mean? The Ramp yeah, Podcast? The, the, the Ramp so Podcast? And they're, and, they're, and, they're, and, they're not, and they're not going to fucking stop because um, the, 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 play, the player based ratio from America to China is like 150 oh, million in America. Uh, like 650 million or something it's like 650 me, million in fucking china so they're let not me go over it let me go over what happened if you haven't heard what happened to blizzard in china so basically uh blizzard uh had like an esports event and this dude i don't i don't want to fuck his name if you if someone wants to pitch in and say his name i don't know his fucking name. <laughs> uh, it's it's some dude that live in hong kong right it was, it was a hong yeah. kong dude there's a Hong Kong yeah. dude. He went to the United States, and he uh, basically they had an esports event, and he was supporting Hong Kong. If you don't know what's going on in Hong Kong right now, there's a lot of shit. You, I, I'm not going to say what happens happening right now over there. You're just going to look up yourselves, honestly. Um, there's a lot of shit going on right now. Uh, Hong Kong is rising up against China and shit like that. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, all so, shit. but basically, what's going on right now? Is that he was supporting was supporting Hong Kong, the rising up and you know for the freedom and stuff like that. He, he and, made a remark that China was sensitive to and didn't felt like and, he shouldn't said. Yeah, and basically Blizzard took they won this group. This it was like a it was like a it was a uh, uh, it was a group right group of people that was like a group of people or whatever that won it that won that prize. Mm -hmm. Was it okay? Um, I don't want to get the story wrong or anything like that. So basically, um, yeah, so they won and Blizzard took away their, they banned the guy, the guy that was standing up for them. And also they didn't get the prize money. So, I mean, it's pretty fucked, honestly, bro. You should be able to support whatever cause you want to, you want to support on any platform. As long as you're not violating any TO thing is, is. If there was nothing yeah. in the TOS involving political stuff, then why ban him and take his money? Because logically speaking, yes, it's in some shit like that, but it seems like time, you know. Uh. Like, the dude is supporting a cause, and he has the right to, and depending... Was he from China? Yes, he was like a yeah. Hong, he okay, was a Hong well, Kong, he was a Hong yeah. Kong citizen, right? Yeah, he, he was basically yeah. saying free Hong Kong or something. He, he just made a... I so think um, money, the uh, funny thing for is, you. funny thing is, you mentioned about that. I think Omegle is talking about the same thing about China. It's literally in every fucking platform. So even that has platformed about f China and that stuff. They well, no one that. likes China because I I'm gonna <sighs> I'm gonna have to get a little bit of veer off a little bit. But the dude, the Mao Zedong tongue, has killed more people than fucking Hitler or Stalin has killed. A uh, hundred million. What? What? Uh, yeah. Hitler killed like six million. Like 300 mil, I think it was, or some shit like that. It was something like that. But it, yeah, I know it was like 6 million Jews. That's yeah, like the number that Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying he, like, he doubled, like, or, or fucking over that. So it's like... He quad? He quadrupled that? I don't know. It's it's over... It, it, it killed it, more people than Hitler and Stalin's, all I'm going to say. You know? And I know it was 15 oh, times more people. Fuck. Right. People are getting banned from China for liking South Park tweets. 
In case you missed it, Blizzard banned a Hearthstone champion, and I'm reading this from Windows Central. It's uh, one of their things. I'm just going to read a quick little thing. In case you missed it, Blizzard banned a Hearthstone champion esports player this week, stripping his winnings to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars while also firing two commentators simply for being nearby to the incident in question. The reason he voiced his support for Hong Kong's human rights movement in the post-match interview. In a same company, he might have picked up a couple of match suspensions at most. The Chinese government is aggressive with, the, with its censorship of uh, cultural information it finds embarrassing, banning entire companies from operating from the lucrative region. Uh, South Park was banned as well this week after airing the episode that mocked the Chinese government's censorship. The creators damn, offered uh, this apology, further mocking them, uh, leveraging a aggressively vague terms of service pass passage that bans esports players from bringing the company in uh, disrepute. Activision Blizzard de delivered uh, Blitz Chung's incredibly harsh punishment, publicly bent the knee to Chinese censorship, and posted a blog post full of complacent ignorance for the implications of his action. Uh, even if Blitz Chung broke Blizzard's uh, vague rules in a sane company, he might have picked up a couple of match suspensions at most, maybe in a, even a few months worth of banning. However, the fact that they stripped his winnings and fired the two commentators conducting the interview simply for being there, uh, being there speaks less about its arbitrary rules and more about uh, capitulation in exchange for the Chinese uh, the dictatory fuck, dictatorial money. Yeah. It's it's really yeah, a fucked China's situation. Because money off of their games, of course they're gonna do whatever they say because they're getting money off. Well, they sold out to the Chicoms, just like Google has, and you know a bunch of other yeah, fucking a lot companies, of companies have. Companies have been well, making so much money off of China. China, ah, they go okay. Well, well, China owns up to five to fifteen percent of all these companies, like Activision, fucking Ubisoft, all these big time game developers, any kind of AAA title. That's been released in the past, however many so years, the China's had a fucking say so in content and shit like that. Like, they don't even allow blood spatter in their versions of games and shit. So, like, if you're playing like GTA or like Rainbow Six or something, something that like shows blood and gore, they don't even have like uh, the blood animations over there in their version. That's stupid. It is, but that's how it is. Damn, bro. And, and, it, and it's starting to and it's starting to fucking affect us over here. Mm hmm. Like I said, because a lot of the companies that were that were over here moved to China. They all moved to China. <clears throat> I think it was an article or something like that said it was a Chinese century. Century. So I mean. <laughs> But oh. but they they own like I said up to five to fifteen percent of these companies or whatever percentage, and they they get a, a say so in how they market these video games and stuff. Because once again, the player the player base is larger than it is over here in America. Like I said, one hundred and fifty million to six hundred and fifty million over in China. Done deal, bro. I mean, they're making yeah, I understand. They're making stuff, but... millions, millions of dollars off of China every fucking year, of course. But it's just like, oh man, it's just fucked, dude. Because you think they care about us as the gamers, bro? Ha! Huh? They never did. Funny. They never did. They only cared about their own views. They they care about their fucking money give a fuck about anybody else's views except somebody that's gonna fill their fucking pockets. And the we are at, we are the bottom feeders on this. We come last, bro. Yep. We can and sit here and, and they're, make they're our YouTube there. videos I mean, and I write about there. it. We, they, uh, go ahead, sorry. No, I'm done. Okay, what I was gonna say is they it's like it's like what uh, Google is going on. What happened to Google is like, and they're afraid they're gonna copy it. That we're gonna copy Google or something like that over in China, which makes sense. But in the same time, they're sitting there instead of, instead of like you know, you know, working out or whatever. They're just sitting there taking it, taking it willingly. You know what I mean? They're they're letting them fuck them basically. Mm -hmm. Well, there's different Googles for like different regions and shit, right? 
Yeah. Like you got like Google Dot American Samoa and shit like that. You know, like, you have, if, like if China if China wants to have their fucking things like Google Dot China and like that's all they need to have available to their people. It, it, once again, it sucks for China, but hey, that's China. Let them do their fucking thing. But when it comes to affecting us, bro, no, nah, that that's some fucking globalist weird shit. True. Not to get all tinfoil hat on you guys, but that shit's weird to me, bro. Uh, it's already been tinfoil hat anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we got into it. <laughs> yeah, we got full you, you can't. <laughs> well, I mean, you it's, you it's true, it, though. You can't fucking help it. It is what it is. Yeah, oh, like, right. literally, the world whoa. is is revolved whoa. around this shit now. What, are we going to get on here in this podcast and talk to the viewers we got and fucking sit here and blow smoke up their ass, bro? No, it is what it is. I'm going to be honest. At all times, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. There is no need to sugarcoat something that is real. That That's yeah. seriously... Yeah, that that's some shit like that. It's not... It's not right, man. Hashtag China. <sighs> Apologizing to China and shit. James oh, Harden is, we is even, my, we is my favorite that. fucking basketball player. He's my favorite fucking basketball player. And he sat there and bent the fucking knee. Oh, I wasn't talking. We weren't talking about that. I'm talking to you. Want to talk about basketball? We're going to talk about fucking basketball. Okay. <laughs> Are you talking about Jeremy because he's messaging our fucking Discord? No, I'm not talking yeah. about. Oh. Oh, is he seriously? Yeah, he's in our. He's on Discord now. I'm talking about basketball, but he can't. He can't join or not because personal shit going on. I won't say on. I won't say on here. On here. Whatever. On here. Um. But yeah, I think that's a good topic to cover. Favorite basketball player. That My they're gonna. Favorite oh. basketball player is Kyrie Irving. You, you know, you you know that they're not even showing the Rockets games in China anymore. Like you can't because, you can't find the Rockets that. games. Yeah, you can't find the the Rockets games in China anymore. They're not going to show That's any of them. That's stupid. It's because but of they own they own team. part of the NBA. They own part of the NBA. Did you guys so, know that? so so they probably own. Uh, they they NFL, own NFL and fucking M MBL and all that shit. No, like like American basketball is like the biggest sport over there in China. They're like I'm, I'm not saying they don't own shit in like the NFL and stuff, but like they definitely do in the NBA. They invest into the NBA. And and, and, and they had they had some uh, scrimmages set up for the Rockets to go over there and play a couple of the Chinese. Yeah, they used to play some of the Chinese league, and uh, they canceled all those. The Rockets aren't coming to China, none of that, they're not supporting them, all because uh, the CEO or the the dude the that GM. runs the Rockets, yeah, the GM, he fucking uh, made a foundation or whatever to fucking support the people in Hong Kong and stuff, that's the whole reason for it and then James Harden had to go out there like a fucking cuck and, and apologize to China just so they can go over there and fucking play some basketball and make some fucking money like, nah, bitch you, you're playing American basketball, dude. Stick to America. If we want to fucking support... Well, I, bet, Kong, I bet if he didn't do that, he probably would have fired or some shit like that. So he's just kind of like... He just... No, he wouldn't, well, have had not, he wouldn't have gotten fired, bro. The fucking GM started a foundation to support Hong Kong. And China did not like Good that shit. No, what they're gonna do to J James Harden is not let him play in China. That's all they're gonna do. Like, nah, they're not letting the right. They're not even showing the games on it, television. They're, they, yeah, it's because they're supporting I, a cause, dude, and they don't agree with the cause. Exactly. That's all it, it is. That, that's what. That's all it is. That's why that's, the Rockets started fucking, playing with like actual NBA players. Yeah. It's not like China can whoop us, anyways. In basketball, I'm saying like. Yeah. Like, what we're gonna go over there and kick, kick their fucking little measly fucking China, China League around and fucking. You can't even lie. Spank them. Some what? of the players that go to China are from the NBA. Like, Jimmer Fadette and stuff like that. They get, like, NBA talent that goes there because. They so don't play what? In the NBA. Uh, oh, well, exactly, bro. They're not NBA players if they play in the fucking Chinese League. You see what I'm saying? They're not NBA Did you players. Play the story of 19, though? You were a Chinese Oh player. my you god, you league. filthy fucking casual. Are you really gonna talk about a video game right now? <laughs> <laughs> this is real life shit, bro. Like, you can't say that they're NBA players. They might be former NBA players, but they are not NBA players. 
playing in the Chinese league. I mean, like, like Jimmer from the deck came back last season, but he resigned. He signed to another league because he didn't play good. Then he's another league's player, not an NBA player. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. What do you think about Zion Williams? <sighs> Have you been watching him play? No. People are yeah, comparing him to like Anthony Davis. He's not like Anthony Davis. He's like there ain't no way. No. He's like no. a young LeBron. He's doing flashy dunks. He's shooting. Uh, oh my god. And that's it. And okay. he's like grabbing boards. And that's pretty much it. He's a power forward, but he's truly a small. Cause he's not the tallest power forward. He's like six nine or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So. I got my basketball thing out of the way. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. I just randomly thought about basketball. But, uh. <laughs> like, Freddy's like, we're talking about basketball. We gotta talk about the fucking shit that went down in China. Fuck. No, but, but you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, well, I mean, we already talked about China, so I might as well just bring it up, I guess. Kind of makes sense. It all correlates, bro. That's the thing. Like, he's trying to correlate, like, shit that is, like, he's a conspiracy theorist. Like, he connects the dots. I'm what? not a fucking conspiracy goddamn theorist. I'm a realist guy. Okay? Uh, the, the, there aren't fucking lizard people running the government well, and the moon isn't made of fucking cheese. Okay? That's a conspiracy fucking theorist. Some out there, outlandish <laughs> shit. You, you can Dude, that, see it that, on that your moon, fucking That moon looks TV. like cheese. It's, it's, <laughs> it's happening right fucking now, bro. It's not a theory. It's fucking fact. Yeah, I know cheese. I mean, the only uh, thing, know, the, only like, thing like, the only thing, the only thing. But like, that... I feel, I feel like, I feel like the whole conspiracy theorist thing is like people are just like fucking just slapping a label on. Oh, that's fucking, you know. Making conspiracy theorists look bad. There. But what is it, what yeah. is conspiracy theorists? They question shit. It's all they do, and they're questioning shit. The ones no, that make it look, the Mesa, like the ones that make it look. Connecting the dots. Oh, like a conspiracy theorist. I, I, I you're, you mean like, you mean like, you mean like Josh Jones or some shit? Yeah, but I'm trying. What I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is that, what it, what it, what is fucking, what is a conspiracy theorist? All they do is just question shit. I mean, it's no, it's not wrong with questioning things. Nothing wrong with it at all. You know, I mean, if you think the fucking moon's made of cheese, you know, go for it. You know what I mean? Like, you're still questioning shit. It's not. If you think the Earth's flat, go for it. I'm like, fuck. I don't believe none. That, that, that's that out there shit I'm talking about. You know, that's that shit you can what if all day. This isn't a what if situation, dude. This shit's fucking happening. It's a, this is in the now, in the now. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's probably the only time we'll talk about China and all that stuff. <laughs> if I be on this, I, mean, probably... I, I know, I know. It's kind of like that horse, dude. It's popping up and everything, like that fucking devilish trio song. Like they, they fucking just brought that shit up, dude. Dude, it's like breezy. It, it's affecting China, my bro. fucking music now. You know what I'm saying? Just well, like if it's if it's shit. that if it's that bad, I mean, shit, you got. Really yeah, you, you got you got uh, fucking Nashville funk rappers fucking sitting here talking about fucking China, bro. Like, there's something to fucking say, dude. <laughs> like, come on, bro.